Gun owners need to take the passion and wisdom they have on the range to the ballot box. Hey guys, it's Phil with GOA, and today we're talking about elections, specifically what to look for when assessing if a candidate for office will be a warrior for the Second Amendment or full of hot air. Just because a political candidate was a former member of the military, police officer, or shooting instructor, or a current gun owner, doesn't mean they won't compromise or actively try to roll back your gun rights. In 2013, USA Today surveyed lawmakers and found only 10% of the Republicans who responded said they did not own a gun, while 66% of Democrats said they are not gun owners, meaning nearly a one-third of Democrats and 90% of Republicans who were surveyed owned guns in the 113th Congress. On top of that, the then majority leader of that Congress, Harry Reid, also claimed to be a gun owner, but he sponsored S-649. That's a bill that was designed to expand the NICS, which, as you know, hasn't done anything to stop violent criminals from accessing guns. It was also going to prohibit transfers of firearms and infringe on other Second Amendment rights. You'd like to think something like that would die a swift death, but the reality is that it got 68 votes from both gun-owning Democrats and Republican senators. This isn't just a problem from 10 years ago. This is a problem today. Notorious gun grabbers like Beto O'Rourke and David Chipman, who we've talked about a bunch on this channel, both use their ownership of firearms as a point of credibility to justify taking away your guns. With the election primaries coming up, we need to get the message out that owning a gun is not enough to demonstrate a candidate will back the Second Amendment. When candidates come asking for your vote in town halls or Q&As, make sure you ask them specific questions like, do you think background checks are constitutional? Will you sponsor or co-sponsor a bill to make regulatory agencies not ban forced reset triggers or other gun parts? Do you support constitutional carry? Or most importantly, are you seeking an endorsement from the gun owners of America? If not, why not? Ask those sorts of questions rather than general questions like, do you support the Second Amendment? Any oily politician knows how to give you a nice nothing burger answer. Just recently, at a round table in New York, Joe Biden said that his sweeping gun control agenda doesn't affect the Second Amendment because no amendment is absolute. That's why I suggest you ask those types of specific questions. And lastly, get out there and help pro 2 a candidates. Volunteer, donate, and of course, vote for GOA endorsed candidates. Make sure your friends and family who support the Second Amendment know where each local, state, and federal candidate stands on guns. Gun owners need to make their voice heard in the primaries. If we only start getting active in the general election, it's usually too late. I can't stress that enough. Primaries are really important because the way so many of these districts are drawn, whoever wins the primary is almost guaranteed to win the seat. And for those of you following the channel, we've added a ton of new subscribers very recently, and I'd love to keep that going. So please subscribe and hit the like button and leave us a comment while you're here. Maybe let us know if you've ever worked or volunteered on a political campaign, and if so, what got you motivated? But if not, why not? But before we close out, I just wanna say I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you watching and everything you're doing with GOA and supporting the work we do. None of this is possible without reinforcements from all of you.